the Seahawks lose to the Washington football team, they are done. They will not make the playoffs. I know the seventh seed is not that far away just because the NFC isn't is top heavy. It doesn't have a lot of good teams in the bottom. So they could theoretically make a run. They could theoretically win out, finish nine and nine and eight and get the seventh seed, or maybe eight and nine will be enough. And they just signed Adrian Peterson as a running back off free agency. And I don't know how much that would do. Adrian Peterson, one of the all-time greats, but he doesn't have too much left on the tank. But this this loss to the Washington football team just let, lets me know that the Seahawks are not going to turn it around. They're not going to just flip a switch. That offense looks terrible. I don't know what the offensive coordinator is calling. DK Metcalf only having one catch for the whole game for 13 yards. DK Metcalf. How do you not get DK Metcalf more than one catch? It's just... It's terrible. It's bad. It should, it should never happen, and it's happening. And Russell Wilson looks like he's bad. Is he injured still? He's saying that his finger feels fine, but he's throwing the ball into the dirt. His his, his throws aren't as accurate as you know we know Russell Wilson can be, and it's just hard to watch. That defense hasn't been that bad, holding the Washington football team to 17 points. They still allow a lot of yards, but they've been a little better in the red zone, not allowing the other team to score. But that offense is just terrible. It's just it's hard to watch. It's slow. It, it looks like they have to grind out every single drive. And it looks like they're always in third and long. And they're always fighting for their lives. And it's just it's terrible. It's bad. It's it's it doesn't look good. And I don't think it's gonna change. And Russell Wilson, who was upset this offseason after a twelve and four season, it looks like this might be we might be counting down the days of Russell Wilson being a Seattle Seahawk because if he was upset last year and they had a 12 and 4 season I could only imagine how upset he is this year uh I think they had the an in the Super Bowl when the, when Tom Brady was in the Super Bowl playing against Patrick Mahomes I believe they showed that Russell Wilson was on the stands and you could just tell that he was mad he he wants to be there he wants to experience another Super Bowl he wants to win another championship and the Seahawks the Seahawks look like they're like they're far away, and that division is not easy at all. You have the Cardinals, who have surprised a lot of people and are leading the NFL with the best record. Um, the Rams have lost three straight, but they're still a pretty solid team. They're seven and four. The Niners have turned it around. They've won three straight. I believe they're six and five. So that division is hard. That division is hard. Everyone has a positive, has an over five hundred record except the Seahawks. So it might be a tough, tough turnaround, um, and Russell Wilson might might want to go somewhere else. He might want to go to a different offense, a better offensive coordinator, an offense-oriented coach. And I don't blame him because I, I I'm kind of I'm curious to see how Russell Wilson would do, like in an Andy Reid offense, in a Sean McVay offense, in a um. Matt Lafleur offense, something like that, where they're running a bunch of other stuff it's not just so stagnant so boring run the ball run the ball third and long throw make russell wilson do something uh yeah it it would be great it would be great to see him in another offense and the seahawks just look terrible they look like i don't know i can't see them getting more than six wins this season but you know maybe adrian peterson is what they needed and maybe they could turn it around but as far as i've seen the last three weeks the seahawks are done 